And that's why my Shrek Funko Pop is my favorite. Oh, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Mount Drew Reviews. Uh, Mount Drew Reviews here. Just letting you know today's video is sponsored by Mountain Dew. This is the newest Mountain Dew flavor. It tastes kind of like um, battery acid. If you like battery acid and the sweet taste of Mountain Dew, check out Mountain Dew Major Melon in stores today. Use the code PIZZA for one cent off your... What's up guys, welcome to another episode of uh, Drew Reviews. Is that what it's called? Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Movie Drew. Uh, Today we're going to be doing a bit of a Goodwill haul video. Uh, um, I, I, well, when I started out collecting uh, movies, I, I started out with only a few DVDs and I kind of made a rule for myself that I would only buy Blu-rays moving forward. Uh, that of course was what, uh, until I went to Goodwill and realized that I could find any movie I ever wanted on DVD. So the past few months, about once a week, I, I stopped by a few Goodwills and started filling out my collection. As you can see here, quite a few of these are found at Goodwill. Even the Blu-rays, some of them are from Goodwill. Uh, most of them are actually are found at Goodwill. Okay, a good amount of them are from Goodwill. You get the idea. Yeah, why don't we just start? So, right off the bat, we got V from Vendetta, which is, of course, produced by the uh, Wachowski twins, who also directed, uh, obviously, Speed Racer and the Matrix trilogy. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of, of Speed Racer. Okay, next we got uh, Adaptation, which is, of course, the movie directed by Spike Jonze, who also directed Where the Wild Things Are, um, one of my favorites. This is the third collaboration with Charlie Kaufman after uh, being John Malkovich and Human Nature. It was also produced by Jonathan Demme, who directed uh, Silence of the Lambs, classic film on the Criterion Collection. You might want to check it out. Uh, if you haven't already, I don't know why there might be something wrong with you because it, uh, it won several Academy Awards it, and it's probably one of the greatest films ever made. Next we got uh, Pi. This is the, the first movie by Darren Aronofsky. Uh, I've actually never seen this, but uh, Darren Aronofsky, of course, is the director of uh, the film Mother as well as Black Swan. Black Swan being one of my favorites of uh, the late 2000s in terms of horror. Moving on, we got um, Reefer Madness. Now, Reefer Madness, this is a very interesting movie. Uh, it came out in 1936, or maybe 1938, or 1939. Uh, people really don't know, but it, of course it started being shown to audiences as a deterrent to uh, marijuana usage in the 30s, which I guess was a big deal. I, I, don't, I don't know, I wasn't alive then, but uh, in the 70s, actually, the owner of New Line Cinema, which was a very small studio at the time, bought the rights to this for uh, their college circuit where they were showing like art films and foreign mm -hmm. films. And uh, it was one of their first commercial successes, uh, of course, their biggest after that being A Nightmare on Elm Street, directed by Wes Craven. It's a classic. Everyone loves this film. Uh, they call New Line Cinema the house that Freddy built because of uh, Freddy, because of Nightmare on Elm Street. Next up, we got uh, Soft War. I've been looking for this one for a while, actually. I've got all of the other Saw movies. Uh, you know, Saw 1, 2, three, five, six, and uh, I I'm glad to finally add number four to the list, even if it's in a shitty blockbuster case, uh, glad to have it. 
Next up, I, I was surprised to see this out of Goodwill, but I got Black Klansman. Now, this of course was one of my favorite films of the past few years to come out. Uh, 2018, 2018 it came out. Uh, of course, directed by Spike Lee, who also did do the right thing. Next up, we got uh, David Fincher's 2007 film, Zodiac. This is of course one of many adaptions of the Zodiac Killer story. Uh, the Onlyce, most notably being the 1971 films The Zodiac Killer and Dirty Harry, the latter of which being the only film ever made uh, with the sole intent of capturing a serial killer. Look that up, that's a fact. Uh, of course, Fincher also directed Fight Club and Seven, as well as uh, my favorite David Fincher film, uh, Alien 3. Next up we got uh, The Descent. Um, I've never seen this. I don't really know anything about it. Uh, it just looked interesting. Next up we got Stand By Me, of course, the Stephen King classic. Um, I saw this as a kid and I don't remember at all what happened, so... can't really give you anything about it, but I, I'll be checking it out. Lastly, of course, we've got Blitz. Um, I didn't know that this was a movie. I kind of just bought it because we made a short film called Blitz and I, uh, I saw it and thought it was funny that it existed. It says Fast and Furious takes a second seat to Blitz. I don't know about that one, but... Of course, uh, this is my haul for today. Uh, I got a few recommendations for you guys if you want to check out some of these films. Um, Today I'm going to recommend Ted V. Mickle's 1971 film, The Corpse Grinders, and uh, Frank Hen Henenwater? Frank Henenwater's 1990 film, Frankenhooker. Uh, very interesting premise. It, you know, that being the premise of Frankenstein if he was a hooker. Yeah, check that one out. Let me know what you think in the comments. And, um, Thank you.